A new clinical trial is using a cannabis compound to combat symptoms in children with autism. The study is being conducted at the Montefiore Medical Center in New York. It will examine the effects of the compound known as CBDV in 100 children with autism ranging in ages from 5 to 18. The trial will focus on treating irritability and repetitive behaviors in children on the spectrum. Dr. David Berger is a pediatrician at Holistic Pediatrics and Family Care in Tampa. He's been using medical cannabis to relieve symptoms in people with autism for approximately three years. Yeah, I've seen both CBD and THC cause tremendous improvements in both of those. I haven't had an opportunity to, new, to use the new um, the CBDV product that they're referring to because that is not something that we have isolated and available to us here in Florida yet, but I'm very excited to see the clinical results. Dr. Berger says he would absolutely use CBDV, which is non-psychoactive and does not produce a high, at his practice. Certainly. I mean, working with kids with autism, you really want to use as many tools to your, um, that's available as possible because these kids are very difficult to treat. We know that there's not just one treatment for all. For that matter, so many children with autism are different from each other. And so taking a case-by-case -case individual approach, which is the way we've treated people with autism for the last 20 years, is really important. He says the, quote, nice thing about the plant cannabinoid system in our bodies is the fact it's fast acting and fast leaving. Parents will know within days if it's right for their child or if doses need adjusted. So while I tell people, while I'm certainly very cautious when it comes to using THC in children, I'm also not scared of using it because I'm also comparing it to what the other alternatives are. Even if the kid did take too much, the effects are there for a few hours. They go to sleep the next day. It's kind of like you start all over again. So I'll tell parents we can push this a little bit. And if we don't like what we're seeing, no parent is going to want their kid walking around acting high. And so we then we can, we can then come back or we can also book boost the CBD some more, and that often will also take care of that negative effect. The clinical trial is estimated to be complete in September of 2021. In Tampa, Daisy Ruth, 8 on your side.